Pat Perry Hart, who is another member of my team. And we need to have a conference call this afternoon. Okay, I need to get them together. We want to finalize all of the details for the rest of our customer's briefing. The key contextual phrase in here is conference call. And what that's going to do is have OpenScape create another conference call with the users that I've identified in this tweet so that I can initiate that call whenever um, I'm ready this afternoon. So if we go back to OpenScape, you can see that it's identified by a title called Twitter Conference. Now let's go back close that for a second. Uh, I want to open up the, uh, what is that? Okay, and then we'll open up the edit screen. Let's take a look at what this conference looks like. It will set me up as the moderator because I'm the one who initiated the tweet. You'll see that Harry Hart and Paul Madison are invited. Paul's an external contact, so it gives me his phone number. It's set to dial out. But if for some reason they're not available at that instant to take that phone call, there's also a bridge number and a PIN number that's automatically generated. Now, OpenScape today sends them an, an email in Outlook with that information so that they have it. But when we release this product in the first quarter of next year, they will also get an immediate tweet as a response to the tweet that I have sent them with this information as well. So they don't even need to go into their Outlook. So once again, you can see how through the integration of the social networking application and our OpenScape Unified Communication application, we have been able to create this list of socially aware triggers and automate some of the tasks within OpenScape. So, Mark, thank you, and I think it's about time you better check your tweets again. You've had some interesting I'm better. this morning. I'm better.